morning, guys. It's coffee morning, laugh now. It's Shills, and I'm back again this week. Shell, where morning. Are you? I'm here, babes. Oh, Shell's here. Good morning, girl. We've got something special for you, or someone special for you. You know him before. Well, from before. He's yeah, man. It's our favourite. One of our faves. One of our faves. You know, maybe the ladies' fave. It definitely the ladies' fave. <laughs> yeah. Definitely the ladies' fave. It goes fame. by the name of Mr. No Socials. Yo, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, hey guys. Tisa? But you know, all the girls are tuning in. Like, let me see if he's gonna pick me this week. I know, right? The DMs. Hey, 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 listen, don't come and spoil my market out here, man. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> Interestingly enough, the pool will get a bit of a back this month because it's um, Men's Mental Health Month. Yes, it is. And I'm not saying that, that you know, I don't think you're the poster boy for Men's Mental Health Month, but I thought it would be a great time to have a discussion with you because you're. You're quite well rounded from what we've seen. 100%. Yeah. And um, mm-hmm. I thought it would be nice to have a discussion with you around what men normally go through, mm-hmm. what what is not seen on the outside. Some people are quite open with their emotions and they can talk about their experience of what they go through, mm. but we don't normally get to hear a lot from them. Okay. Yeah. So obviously, this episode is it's like, like, like every co- coffee morning last episode, it's another conversation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, you know, show. What are you saying? What am I saying? Um, yeah, I think like you said, I think Victor, you're just so you're definitely one of our faves. Number oh, one. Say I put it out there. The back. Loves say loud. I do the love Victor, and I love he's one of my faves, definitely. <laughs> Dad, um, you hear it from me. Why don't go back? Why don't go back? <laughs> <laughs> this wow. girl is an idiot. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm just trying to keep the house. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> so, like I was saying, um, yeah, like you're very well rounded, and I think I, I I've always say this: you are definitely the female version of Shelf. So that means they're out there without the breast. <laughs> <laughs> definitely without the breast. The male version of Shelf, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The male version of Shelf. Come on. So it's like you know, how do you like just stay so well rounded? How do you stay happy? Do you know what? How oh oh happy? I wouldn't say I'm happy all the time because I think like. Like most, not most men, but again, I can't speak for all men. Mm. But so, like some men, um, we just know how to put up a poker face. Do you know what I mean? Even when we're not happy. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, I guess with me, um, I guess I'm fortunate in terms of family and friends. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? I think family and friends play a very, very important role. And, you know, and for me, I have been blessed with good family and friends, you know, especially. Um, especially some great, great friends, man. Um, I can't even lie. Um, and and I think, I think you know, you you attract what you put out. Energy. Wow, sense. energy you know is. I mean? mm. So if you put out good energy, more often than not, do you know what I mean? You get back good energy. Mm. Um, so I think from that perspective, that's how I've always been able to, um, yeah, just sometimes you, you can't take things too seriously, man. Like, you know what I mean? Because life will test you life will test you oh, every single yeah. day you know god will put um obstacles in front of you every single day do you know what i mean and like i always like to tell people listen man if i don't laugh i'll cry man. This yeah is, i've said that so many times I, bars, bars. <laughs> <laughs> no but Victor's seriously gem, it's true though. yeah it's true if you don't laugh you cry in it like we'll talk so. do you know what i love that you started off by saying that actually you're not always happy no and i think you know not that Obviously, we know because we're in social care, but it's just one of those things of, you know, we look to men to always be the strong provider, yeah. the, you know, upright and just protector. Yeah. When actually, yeah. who's, or the leader, yeah. who's who's looking after our men? Just sidewives, isn't it? Oh, God. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Chill out. Listen, the opinions of Sheila are yeah, of hers and hers alone. <laughs> Guys, I'm just trying to <laughs> Do you know what? Here, yeah, it, it's actually a good point that Michelle's come on to because um, Victor, you're quite honest. What, what I like to talk what Victor said is, I'm not always happy. Mm. Or some people are not able to have that level of honesty with self. Mm. Yeah, facts. You know what I mean? Or even people around them. The vulnerability that you. Okay, the vulnerability that women have with each other yeah. is not always found in men. Yeah, oh, yeah, facts. Yeah. So, so when you're able to turn around and say, I'm not always happy, another man would never be able to say, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. So they might mask that by like turning to alcohol, yeah, um, drugs, 
sex, being toxic. <laughs> but just the thing, because again, it depends on you know your friends you've got around you. Yeah. Mm. If you haven't got that outlet, then yeah, things like what you've just mentioned in terms of drugs, sex, it's gonna be a problem. Um, you know, yeah. alcohol, etc. Um, you know, because you need something to be your vice, I guess. Mm. You know, so to speak. I guess with me, because like I always like to say, you know, I've got different friends for different things. You have some friends you want to go out with. You have some friends yeah. you can talk finance with. You can some friends you can talk about investment with. Yeah. Friends you can talk business with. Friends you can just talk about social aspects with. Sort of various different yeah. things. Yeah. So when it comes to like, okay, if I'm going for a tough time, the you the few select people yeah. who I will go to, and it's not just you know, it's not just yes, yeah, a few select people. Some yeah, some women, some men. Mm. Like, do you know what I mean? And with the men, it's like. Because do you know one thing I've noticed, do you know one thing I've noticed about my friendship group? A lot of my male friends I've known for like over ten years, yeah. fifteen years. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And so that's you that and them. So yeah, yeah. So we understand each other. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And more often than not, when one of us just says something, that one will be like, "Oh shit!" Like I'm going through the, through that as well. Mm. Do you so know there's openness I mean? in your group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. do you have those deep conversations with your guy friends? Yeah, 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 yeah. But again, it's it dependent on who who I'm talking to. But yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Like, oh yeah, listen, we've had some really, really deep combos, man. Hundred percent. I mean, even you know, um, I'm obviously those of you who know. Obviously, when I lost my father um, last mm-hmm. year, hey, I had some serious. serious <laughs> in fact, if, I mean, I don't. I, I've never been depressed before, but I can honestly say that that last year was the most challenging year for me. Oh. Like, do you know what I mean? And I went through a, I, through a lot of shit. Yeah. Um, do you know what I mean? And obviously, it's like, as you mentioned, you know, people look for men to be the strong ones. And obviously, for my family, I'm trying to be the strong. I'm trying to be strong for my mum. I'm trying to be strong for my sisters. I'm trying to be strong for my brothers as well. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, put all of that on me. Then, okay, who can I put all of this on? Oh, yeah. It's really on who? Wife. And fortunately, and obviously, we're going through a lockdown. Mm. So there's. Who am I talking to? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No one can come around, etc. Mm, yeah. But um, I, I have to thank God that the one or two friends uh, who, well, I don't know whether it's, I don't know whether I can say fortunate, but um, what, what you know, I guess unfortunately, they've lost their uh, parent as well. Okay. So to an extent, they can understand what I was going yeah, through. Yeah. Shared experience. So the gems that they laid on me, honestly, it helped me. I can't remember. So that. great to yeah, I, I, remember, yeah. I remember that. I remember when Victor like, lost his dad. And when you when you know somebody is not normally happy. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I remember it was in the lockdown period, yeah. So in our little group, Victor would always send in the memes or just keeping the group going, yeah. And when he was going to do something, it was hard to see what anybody can do. Because I had never seen yeah. him that closed off. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So, I and mean, when we spoke, and you mentioned that your friend had lost yeah. his dad, and he was giving you advice about how to deal, how yeah. to cope with um, changes. Yeah. Because it's all seasonal, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like you had to implement certain things for yourself to do on a daily. Yeah, hundred percent. Because it's not a one. It's not like a one rule, one size fits all. Mm. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, there's no rule books to this. Like, mm. do you know what I mean? There's no rules. It's like when you go through something as because it's trauma, isn't it? When you go through yeah. something like that. It's like, you know, you do with it how you feel is best for you to do with it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, you know, and you have to put things through prayer. I mean, like, listen, I know not everyone's religious. So yeah. each their own from that perspective. The universe. But, um, but I mean, but I know that's what helped me. Yeah. And yeah, like I said, um, advice from them, advice from um, family as well. Do you know what I mean? But obviously when family are also going through it, like, you yeah, trying to shield them as well. Yeah. It's like, Okay, I'm having. I'm ready taking all that stuff on board. So Are not, you the eldest? No, no, no. I'm actually okay. the last born. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So, um, but no. So that, I mean, from a mental perspective, wow. Like, I can honestly say to you that <laughs> I literally went from, hey, I, I was. That has been the most, yeah, the most challenging period. Obviously, I'm not going to go into too much detail on this. I can't. But I can honestly say to you that. Until you've actually experienced something like that for yourself, I can't even put it into words. And I think, I think when we, I mean, obviously this is like when we're talking about men's mental health, it's it's a big, it's kind of it's a broad subject. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Because um, obviously this month is men's mental health, and we're looking yeah. at what men go through. Sometimes it's just like the notions. I know you're quite secure in 
work and you know yeah. make, making income but some men go through financial difficulties oh, mm. where they can't afford to do certain things mm. with their family i've 100%. seen men have left families because they can't provide listen i've had I'm, i've had situations whereby like i've had friends um come to me it's, it's the, this is how crazy it is yeah. mm. i mean which to me didn't really make sense but you know say you know from a finance again you know we're talking from a finance perspective isn't yeah. it and they were short of cash and for whatever reason the pride of the ego he didn't want to go to his girlfriend to to ask for money. Yeah. He came wow. to me, his friend. Yeah. Which is cool. Which is calm. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? I'm here for you. Yeah. But I'm thinking, but my thing is just like That's your partner. That's your partner. Yeah. You and that's what, what we're talking about. And the expectations and this, is not, this is not like a two like this is long they live together. Wow. So they share bills. This is not do you know what I mean? So This is what we talked about just before mm. about the expectations and the ability to feel comfortable enough with partners yeah. to actually have certain discussions. Because she didn't know the financial situation mm. that we were in. But yeah. he hadn't he shared, shared it. it. But yeah, he shared it with me, yeah, an so, outside yeah. person. So I think what it is, is like sometimes it's easier to have another conversation with another man. Yeah. Because yeah. mm. women, we want to fix everything. Yeah. It's like, mm. oh, why don't you tell me, we want to fix everything. But I think that situation is just pride. Yeah, like, men have a lot of them. Oh, shit. Mm. But is it about the expectations that society puts on them to feel that actually... They can't, Come will they be seen? Would, does he think, there's a reason why he didn't go to his partner. Yeah. Does he feel that she fit, she might feel less of him if he I were to go he, back? I don't know. I mean, you'd have to, I mean, I would have, mm. I'd have to ask him, but so he's, he's always been like the, the main provider. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, but obviously in this instance, um, I think he had got like lost his job, et cetera, or, or in between jobs, should I say. Mm. And obviously got into some financial difficulties. Do you know what I mean? And, but he, could not obviously he's telling her listen i've got this i've got this i've got this mm-hmm. no you haven't got this yeah. i've got it for you yeah. like do you know what i mean but obviously yeah. i'm your friend so i'm here for you I'll so do that's you. calm yeah. do you know what i mean yeah. and i'm like listen pay me back whenever we don't need to pay. i mean you eventually pay me back but we mm-hmm. didn't got a date on that but no yeah. i'm not like paying back in the month. like whenever you get your act mm-hmm. together come mm-hmm. back to me innit? Oh. but but for me i just said to myself but that was like a i said to myself are you under that much pressure that and the thing is, I've met her, and I'm like, she's cool. Well, I guess from that, cool. when the door closes, <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what goes up between closed doors. When the door closes, mm. the hair comes off. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's still in house. Yeah. <laughs> you know Listen, anybody out there, if you think. Do you remember my Hindu when all my white friends were like, how many she bought she, she, she Listen, her pieces, my she gives them names. Business. If I paid for it, it's fine. <laughs> 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 As long as we'll leave it. We'll leave it there. But literally, it's like that's a prime example of how men can behave. You know? mm, yeah. And I think it stems back from them believing that they are providers, they are leaders mm. here. And I think it's Fix's favourite word. It's a bit of a toxic thing. Yeah. That women or society yeah. has made it that way. Yeah. Because now we're trying to do a lot of the doing that we did. Undoing. Yeah we're, yeah, we're undoing a lot of the doings yeah. because for a number of years, men should be this, men should be that, men should be this. They yeah. can't talk, they have to be strong. And now we're saying, men talk to us or men open up. Yeah. yeah. But we did that. Yeah. We encouraged The whole, yeah. that thing like boys don't cry or um, tell you a little story. Um, we've got a toy cooker. We yeah. bought a toy cooker for Isaac, yeah. my three year old son. Is going to be a chef? No, well, but listen to this. <laughs> so, but they, but there's a stereotype. That is the you stereotype. See, people, people like you're part of the problem. You're the problem. You're the problem. You're the problem. Hey, there, right there, right there, right there. Jamie. Someone close to us. Yeah. But they were not a nice person. But someone close to us was like, oh, why are you buying him a cooker for Christmas? And I'm like, because my boy likes to cook. And what? Tell me something. Oh, I, 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 you should get him the workbench where he can just be battering hammers and all that stuff. Yeah. Bruv, if my boy wants a cooker, my boy's going to get a cooker. He's not going to be any less of a boy mm. because I've got him a damn cooker. Listeners, so I, I wish, I I wish you could just yes. see the show right now. Isaac, I'm going to come and get you. Yes. I love it. I need you. That's my son. <laughs> I stand for my son. Isaac. Don't worry, I'll teach you how to do it. Oh. <laughs> part of the problem, part of the problem. Be the solution, not the problem. Isaac, yeah. put it in the oven. <laughs> but that is it. It's about like these gender roles yeah, yeah. that we place on our babies from young. These yeah. are things from young. Oh, boys don't cry. Oh, um, all these little things that we think that men and women can't do. 
because of what? Between. Yeah. And the damage, the damage continues. There's a cycle, it's a generational thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's, it, it, it has been for him until recently, or you know, say ten years ago, where men are actually coming out and talking. Mm. Yeah. It's been a foreign notion, and I, you know, Victor is obviously from like a black like African background. Yeah. And it might even work different in black homes. Mm. That the, the the whole um talk, open up, be free, mm. because it, about emotion. You, you don't see that happening a lot. Obviously, your home might be different. No, my mum's a typical, I would say, a typical Nigerian household, man. I mean, especially in the Medina family, in terms of emotion, you know, share. It's not. It, it, it wasn't done. Because, yeah, it, it, it wasn't, you know. If something's happened, what I've seen a lot, yeah, with like a lot of my sister's friends, like guy friends, yeah. If something's happened, they'll say, Yo, yeah, man, hold on. Yeah, man up. Yeah. Man up. Yeah. What is man up? Like, what, what does that even mean? Man up. Easy. Man up. Man up. But what, stand up? What? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> Manning up to people looks like, um, you know, I'm not a man. Just shut it off. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's just like deal with it. it yeah. it's, it's get over it. Get basically. over it. Deal with it. And I think women still man up, but women cry. A woman. Have, well, some women. Women, cry. women have areas that, well, not all, but you know, women have areas where they can release certain emotions. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas I don't think men are given the, the, the opportunity is. I think it, it's more not acceptable, but if, yeah. if, if I were to break into tears right now, yeah. we would all be like, oh my God, I and wouldn't. get over it. Actually, you would be, because I don't cry. I don't cry. But if Victor all of a sudden were just to burst into tears right now, yeah. even me, I'd be like, oh, chills. <laughs> Is he okay? Like, what happened? Yeah, what happened? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you understand? Yeah, it will, it, 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 that's cause a There's a shock yeah, factor yeah, would be yeah, more yeah, with you if it, than to be with me. Yeah. I mean, so what do you do then? What does society do to make these things well, better because obviously you're in a position where you're able to. You you've got friends. Yeah, you've got a great family. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You can talk to your sisters. You can talk to your brother. You can talk yeah. to your siblings. Do you know what I mean? And you've got friends that understand you. Like like yeah. you said, you've had friends for the, for the last what ten years plus. 10, 15 years exactly. Plus, they they know who you are. They've seen you changing faces, changing hair right. color. Oh, that's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is that shade? No. <laughs> hey, I, I, is this what I, I know. I, I that. Thank you, Victor. I got you. No, it's a bit like the same hair color, look. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like, my tips are your hair color. Funny enough, my sister just dyed her hair, same color as me. So, oh. See, oh, so you simple. Trends out, trends out. But yeah, yeah. go on. Trends out, whatever. <laughs> Why you hate him, man? <laughs> but I just kind of like think there's men that haven't got what you have. Yeah. yeah. That, that's the sort of the truth of the reality of it. Yeah, but I, I have friends who don't have what I have. And, um, You're the only friend. And yeah, and mm. listen, I've had situations whereby it's... Sometimes, um, when people don't have many friends, you know, many people who they can go to, Yeah. and you have one or two people, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I've been there for seven individuals, and it can be emotionally draining. I can't even. Mm. I can't yeah. even. You know, some people you can talk to, you'd be happy at the start of the conversation, but by the end of the conversation, you're just as bad. Down. down yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, you just. Which is fine, but as your friend, it's part of my role. Like. She was like, you just need to leave. Wow. Do not leave, guys. Wow. Do not leave. No, no, guys, <laughs> can, I, no, no, can I get the same room now? Please, please do. No, can I get the same room now? What I'm saying is, when you need to leave, because it's not good for your own mental health, because how yeah. can you help somebody? Well, you're not in a good state of mind as well. And listen, yeah, even therapists give you six weeks in their sessions. No, well, they give you. Well, it's about boundaries. I think that's what it is. It's yeah. about setting boundaries. So I. But you can't set a boundary with your friend. Are you gonna say, oh, no, you have to, no, 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 you're but crying, you, yeah. Let me not. Let no, me pick up the phone call. it's, it's not even boundaries, saying. but it's about some, some. I actually read something this week, and I might need to find it for this episode. Sure. I'm gonna stop you here. Me and you both. Sorry, Victor. No, go on. Go on. Me and you both know somebody. Yeah. Oh. Every time you talk to them, <laughs> you just feel Debbie like... Debbie Downer. <sighs> yeah. Debbie Downer. Like, you put solutions in. Oh, no, but... Yeah. Right, no, listen, you've got food in your fridge. But it's not the kind of food I like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> listen, you've got clothes on your feet. Oh, look. No. It's yeah. always something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. with that person, what do you do? You've got to retrieve and say... You know, but that's what I was going to say. It's, it's not, not boundaries, but maybe setting out explicitly... I can't help you about actually this is what I, this is all I can do for you yeah and space yeah. maybe giving yourself space and what tends to happen is a person like Victor who's popular yeah popular, I know. powerful that would be your thing um he he's just like look his friends might never feel the breath of him 
because it's got so many friends to go to. Mm. But that person that's got the, what, the two people to go to, Victor's thinking, look, today try to go to Andrew because Victor's tired. Victor's tired. Yeah. But that person is draining. Yeah. I don't understand that they're draining because they're not willing to do the work for themselves. No. Yeah. So I, I'm with Victor. Oh, I don't know what Victor's opinion was. But I was saying, Victor wasn't saying what you were saying. I wasn't exactly saying Victor but was no, not. I, but I can understand where you're coming from. Yeah. And to, to a degree, I'm not going to lie, I do, I do agree with what you're saying. But I guess for me, you know, when you're friends with someone, you just you're not just friends with them in the good times. Yeah, you're exactly. We're through the bad times. You know Michelle, I mean? I've rolled through this person for having a year. Yeah. I'm okay, really she's like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, Michelle's judging me. Yeah. I'm not judging I'm you. Sure. Yeah, I'm not judging. Yeah. Victor, when look at see your heart. Your heart yeah. is talking. Yeah. When Michelle's the first person, yeah, to be like. Oh, no, I'm okay. tired. Yeah, I'm tired. Shouldn't you take over? Yeah. But you know what I've learned here? Yeah? It's about, like I said, about space. Yeah. So I've learned, I promise you, maybe in the last year, it's not everybody's phone calls that I answer. Facts. Mm -hmm. I promise you. Yeah. And I can be there. I can see your name. Yeah. Ringing, 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 ringing. Yeah. I won't answer it. You all know me. She was asking your Yeah, but it's the now. truth. But my friends know me. And that's what I said about boundaries. Yeah. So even like Nicole, my best friend, yeah. I've had to tell her, like, Nick, we're both on maternity leave, but sometimes I don't want to chat to you. I don't want to talk to anybody. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not everybody's phone calls that answer. It can be ringing right there. Mm. I can see your WhatsApp. Okay, okay. So okay, I'm going to spin on it. Yeah. Normally, I have obviously I've got a few friends. Yeah. Two and, many. And um, I just say that um, we're able to. You know what your friends are going for at any given time. Yeah. For most part. Yeah. You might, for the most like, part. You, yeah. you might not let a surface of it. Yeah. So if one friend calls me, I might be like, I'm going to take that phone call. Oh. Yeah. So I respond to it. I'm like, mm. something, something serious is going on there. Or they don't normally call me, so I'm going to take the phone yeah, call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I found that one of my male friends called me, yeah. not the ams of this world, people that are trying to be <laughs> friendly, but when my actual friends Friend call friends. me, yeah. I pick up that phone call. Yeah. Because when I, I'm not saying that I prefer guys calling me, no, I'm not there. Because when that person's calling me to have a conversation, you know. I know something's going on because mm. I know it's not easy for men to actually come up and say what's really good. Yeah. Like a couple of months ago, one of my homeboys, he was going through something mm. and he's separated from his, from his missus. It was, long, it was a long relationship here. And we, we just went for lunch. Yeah. And he just told me so many things. Mm. And we wanted to go for lunch that day. He gave me a phone call, he was coming out of the nail shop. He's like, oh, sure, what you're up to, just checking on you, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Started talking for about an hour. Before I knew it, I was like, bro, we need to go and have lunch, I guess. Mm. Then that literally it took the whole day. Yeah. But what he told me was just like, whoa. He just needed yeah. to get he it out. Get it all out. out yeah. And from then on, we've made it like a, um, we made it a thing to meet up like every month or do something, whether yeah. we're at home or whatever, because he's been going through a lot. Mm. And it's not like he, and he might not just talk to everybody. He's got his boys around him. Yeah. But he's been more comfortable talking to myself and a few of our other female friends because. Mm. We've got the time to maybe nurture. And do you know, this brings me to something like, Dan, he's got a friend, yeah? Mm. He yeah, likes a drink, the friend. Yeah. <laughs> but the friend will be calling him at some mad times. Mm. Okay. And sometimes Dan don't answer. And I'm always like, Dan, do you know what? Answer the phone because God forbid something happens. Yeah. yeah. And you didn't answer that phone call. Yeah. Dan's a bit like, he's, he's, Dan can be quite a bit dismissive at mm. times of this certain situation. But... In my head, I'm just trying to dwell on, like, we know that the highest, um, yeah, the biggest killer of men, yeah. not cancer, yeah. not yeah. road accidents, it's suicide. Yeah. It's men actively taking their own lives. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, what you're doing for your friend there is you probably don't even know what well, I'm assuming you do, but make the importance of what you're doing for your friend. Yeah. 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 I think it's, it's, it's important for people to have, like, outlets. Mm. Like I said to you before, Victor. Maybe your friend, your friend groups are different, yeah. But we women, we talk all the time. Yeah. Too much. Like we talk all the time. I could be here and I could be on the phone to Shell for about three hours oh, when God. we talk. I could be on the phone to Steph for hours, yeah. yeah. Even if it's nothing. I can't lie, we're not on the phone for hours. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> but what's the most people like for guys? Hey, are you there? Yeah. Literally, yeah. Uh, that's the same. That more time, yeah. Like we talk. No, no, it depends. Like, do you know what it is? It's like we get straight to the subject matter. Like, you can do. It depends. It all. Do you know? What? It all depends on who that friend is. Isn't it? Yeah. Like who they are to you, isn't it? Um, but more time, you know, we don't. We say what needs to be said. Or 
like for example if you're going to talk to me it's like one thing i tell all my friends is that please if you're going to come with me with a problem be prepared to hear my answer know what you want to hear yeah with advice like do you know what i mean if you just want a yes person i'm just not that person good advice mm-hmm. yeah. do you know what i mean so um but again like i said fortunately with my friendship circle i've got people i've got the outlets now for people who, who aren't as fortunate as myself or sheila or Michelle, or et cetera et cetera oh just people haven't got loads of different outlets then i'll probably advise maybe just go to some form of therapy or something the samaritans do you know what i mean yeah yeah they're normally helpful yeah stuff like that yeah. i think uh, red cross they normally have like services but it's just how open is a person and I think it's easier to go from men maybe it's even easier to go to a stranger yeah. and have that conversation yeah. than maybe go up to your group of friends mm. you know let me go back to the finance to the financial situation yeah and my might feel like oh, i can't tell my friends that i'm broke mm. oh i can't achieve this or i can't do that do you know what i mean so mm. with, with that it's just like they turn to different outlets yeah 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 <sighs> it's, it's hard it's hard to get mental conversations yeah because they don't want to have those do you feel Victor that like nowadays like of recent that you're seeing a lot more about men speaking up being promoted like men speaking up speaking out yeah yeah yeah, yeah. definitely 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 um but um again for me it's like when I when I hear it I'm like okay I've been talking it's, yeah <laughs> like, I mean it's nothing new to me but yeah. it's, it's good to hear that people are speaking out because you often hear that men don't speak up about all these problems or issues that they're going through and now, I guess, obviously, with the social media area that we're in, then, yeah, you definitely see it more. But it's not it's not a lot, mm. but it's more than before. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's just definitely the right direction. But then, I kind of say to people, like, you know, you don't need to put your... If you're going through stuff, you don't have to put it all out there. Just put it out there I'm to the right people. You. That's it. Yeah. Don't have to be to the whole world or straight. Yeah. Just put it out to the right people. Facebook asks you, how are you feeling today? Swear. Yeah. Meta. <laughs> oh, sorry, yes. meta. Is it meta? Meta? Meta, yeah, meta. Yeah, get it right, man. Meta. Because <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> I had left Facebook for ages, yeah, and I, you know, looking to do something. Can I ask, how are you feeling right now? I thought, what? Who wants to know? Mm. Like, no one even cares to that degree because no one's going to call you and say, oh, sure, that's so. Oh, my friends might. Well, I was just about to say, but, they, people do. But I wouldn't put myself out there like that, yeah, because, sorry. It's fine, <laughs> but people do that stuff. But what I wanted to, what, what where I wanted to take it was, yeah, in relationships, yeah. Do you think men feel secure enough to speak to their partners um, about what they're going through? I, I can, I think so. Everyone's different, you know. Everybody, there's no. I have seen a few relationships because such a thing. Why? The reason why I say me, that is like I remember, um, like a couple of Christmases ago, I had. Um, my marriage friends round, didn't it? Mm. And um, and I was asking them in terms of how do they deal with finances within their relationship. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And everyone had their different setup. Mm. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So you know, it's so a case of okay. For example, do you have money both going to joint accounts? Mm. Do you have money going to separate accounts? Do you have separate money for investments, etc. Blah, blah blah blah. And everyone's setup was totally right. different. Yeah. And I kind of noticed it kind of matched their sort of personality. So the ones which were which were a little bit more. I would say a little bit more secretive. Mm-hmm. I wasn't surprised that okay. They got yeah, their separate stuff. Yeah, separate, 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 separate. Yeah. But, <laughs> that means, KMT. But the ones which were more open, yeah. like listen, joint account, everyone knows um, she can access this, I can access that, yeah. etc. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. true. Everybody was totally different. And it's, it's funny about that. Yeah, I and um, yours. <laughs> no, we have we 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 have a joint account. Yeah. So um, but I've got a friend who's married and <laughs> well, we're doing myself to zero point Zero. Well, then you both don't be 0.0. This is what I mean. No, me and Dan have got separate accounts, but we pay money into a joint account. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we have, yeah? So but can I ask a question? Yeah. yeah. No, let, let me find I, I don't know. Well, I mean, I don't know. I, I doubt it. But I'm like, say for example, when you get like a pay rise, do you let him know? A hundred percent. But I've got a phrase. Your bonus, do you let him know? Oh, I don't know. What yeah, I don't, I don't get bonuses. Oh, okay. Social care, we don't. But I, Dan knows how much I earn. And I'm... I, I believe in a marriage of no secrets, and that's one thing with me. So in, in my marriage, there's no secrets. Yeah. But I've got a friend who is very much yeah. She don't tell a partner ish. Does she? Don't, does she? Is she, is she the bread? Does she no, no, no. Or? She's not even a breadwinner. She's okay. not even. A, he, he's a breadwinner, but she don't tell him how much she earns. She won't tell him no bonus. 
She will undercut how much she gets paid. And I'm just like, why? Yeah. Why though? She's How's her life going? I don't know. She's I can't really comment. She's, life, she's, no? she's building up the exit part. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the exit part. Is that what it is? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but no, Dan knows how much I earn. We're, we're getting a mortgage at the moment, so mm. I've had to be very explicit. But yeah. even now, I'm going through his bank statement. I'm like, rah, like, we can save a lot more than what we're saving. <laughs> and he's a bit like, nah, I've got a guy in the pub. He don't even talk like that. Leave me standing out of it. Sheila's an idiot. <laughs> hey, are you <laughs> We're all down the square. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> You're down, we got you, we got you. We got I know, you. right? We We're all down the square. <laughs> no, so, Cheryl, seriously, yeah. so Dan's there telling you how much he's earning. 100%, yeah. Not, not, not making judgments here. That's why, not even like white, white families. That what? They just tell their wives what they're getting already. But in my head, I, I've, I, I don't know about my parents, but in my head, I'm thinking, why not? In terms of a marriage, yeah, why not? I've always been told. Surely telling me to shut up, yeah. basically. Yeah. I, I yeah. Are telling yeah. me to yeah. shut up. Yeah. <laughs> you have your own mad money. You so I've got, I've got a bank, I've got a savings account. Yeah, he does so know what's I have it. What's he going to do with it? Same. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Listen. So you're not as open as we thought. <laughs> yeah, but what's he going to do? So he knows you've got that account. He knows I've got my savings account. And he knows what's in it. Yeah. Okay. Just right. You just put it together. But that's my money. So it is still your money. So it's not money to go. So on. we. But no, no, Cheryl, listen. Well, we're out of Germans. What? I don't even. Because Vince is an accountant, so he knows what he's doing. Yeah, it's an accountant. Hear that, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> ching, 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 ching. Ching, ching, ching. They're tight, though. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of tight, yeah, they, they Listen, yeah, yeah, you need to have a budget. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that word, didn't it? I said, yeah. I said, budget. budget. He said, he said the B word, ladies. <laughs> I know everyone hates that word, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, well, I'm not married yet, and Vince is not married yet. Just letting you not know. But single and available. Uh, yes, yeah, she does. She's no, I don't know about Vince. Are you single and available? I'm single. Man. Are you available? I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> God is good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. I have no words here. Yeah. Girls, don't bother. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. this guy is just going to say, I have a budget. <laughs> but, <laughs> literally, yeah. I, well, I'm sure kudos to you for doing that. A lot of people don't do that. But people in relationships, they don't have words. They can't show different folks. Mm. Yeah. When, when, when I was talking about like, men being able to talk in their relationships, what I find is um, sometimes we as women, we can be quite sharp in our responses. Mm, yeah. yeah. Our we, we can cut men off from having the freedom to talk. Yeah. Because men will be here, but they'll feel, they'll feel oppressed mm. in the home. Yeah, that can happen. Yeah. Or in the relationship. Because when I try to suggest something, you shut them down. You, you, it's a shutdown. Yeah. Maybe we should paint this color off white. No, it should be white. Yeah. That's a really crap example, but no, it's a good example because I, I don't do yeah. off white. <laughs> but people are really saying no to just simple paintings. Like we don't know how much that does to a person. Even like in the sense of how men dress, because sometimes when men get with women that want to change their dressing. I want to wear this, and then the woman's like, "No, you're coming out with me." Mm. So again, that's when hitting away. At their Chipping away a bit, Chipping ego. Away. Dan had to pull me up one time because I used yeah. to talk about, like, oh, that person's like really fit. And Dan would be like, uh, Michelle, if I were to do that to you yeah. and talk about all the fit females that I see walking past, yeah. what would you say? I'm like, that can't happen. <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyway, it was like, yeah, Michelle, you need to stop. You just, you yeah. just need to stop. And I think we as women have to have like intelligence, emotional mm. intelligence here mm. to be able to understand like what is damaging and what's yeah. damaging. Because the problem is your man can't speak to you. And, you know, and Would I'm, you like it done to yourself? What you're dishing out, can you handle it if it would, if, if the tables were turned? The thing is, if you want to turn the tables, you've got to be able to take it. Because this is Serena Williams on the other side. Ah, Shields is Serena. She will <laughs> smash that yeah, into your head. Snap. Yeah. Wash. You might as well call yourself, uh, what's it, the English fan, what they call him? Henman. That's the one. <laughs> the loser. Yeah. Even that next one they bought. Or Andrew Murray. Murray. Yeah, I don't know for one. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. <laughs> 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 I'm joking. Yeah, I'm joking.
<laughs> can, you, can you put that? <laughs> can you stop that? You <laughs> can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm okay. glad well, I'm not sarcastic. We're all being serious. We can actually have a few laughs here. Yeah. British, by the way. Um, <laughs> no, but I'm gonna, I wanted to pose this question now, as I'm um, obviously just to be aware. Let's say you're, you're a grown man. Yeah. And you've been fortunate enough to be in an environment where you're supported. Yeah. You know? But let's talk about mothers and sons. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because sometimes. I'm not a mum, but I've witnessed parents say certain things to their boys. Mm-hmm. And when their boys come out into society, they're something else. Or when they come out to school, because we work with kids a lot, mm-hmm. and you can see that home life, they don't have an avenue, they don't have a place where they can be free, they can speak openly. Mm-hmm. And that damages them when it goes into adulthood. Excuse me, that's why my son can have his damn cooker. <laughs> well, it's fine, you know, be a chef yes. if you want. Yeah, if that's yes. what you want to do. <laughs> God, that's my godson. Exactly. <laughs> she, she just remembered. No, she just remembering. I think I don't want my godson just to be there chefing around. You know? Oh. Yeah. It's well, okay to be a chef, guys. Yeah, look, if you're not Harriet, Ainsley Harriet, whatever his name is. The yeah, top chef. Top chefs, please, yeah. Doing chefing in my dad is not a real job. <laughs> <laughs> guys, don't be depressed about it. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, is, is she the worst? Do, do is she it. the worst? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Listen, yeah. Uh, listen, this is a serious <sighs> conversation here. Yeah. And I know we're actually laughing here and there. Yeah. I don't mean, you know, if you want to be a shop at McDonald's, that's really, really, really wonderful. Just don't holler at Shields. No, 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 just don't holler at my goddaughters. Or anybody who ever me. Wait, is this comments like this? <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm going to bring out. Yeah, that's what I'm going to bring out. That's what I'm going to bring out. Those comments, yeah, yeah. that are quite negative. Yeah. yeah. That cause men to just go Think down. Yeah, yeah, go down mm. with themselves and become inward. Insolent, yeah. yeah. So how do we fix that as women? Like I said, I'm trying to create an environment where my sons can feel open and talk about whatever they want to talk about. Yeah. And I've said it to you on this podcast when we talk about the expectations on dating mm-hmm. and all these certain things. Like all these females, we want, 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 want. Mm-hmm. But actually, these are people's sons. I said it. No, nobody should ever, please, God, don't test me. Try and take my son for a mug. No girl should because I will be that mum. If I <laughs> see it anywhere, it, I will just shut it down so quickly. It will be ah, what too are you much. Shutting down? Anything. So any unrealistic expectations. Yeah. yeah. My son is not your bank account. My son is not your father. Yeah. yeah. Go and find your dad for that stuff. Go and look for one. Daddy.com. Where, where are these websites? Yeah. <laughs> Isaac, if Isaac came and told you yeah. that, ah, yeah, Auntie Shields, I gave him, um, uh, when I took a girl out on a date and I gave her one five, just like that, bam. I'll find the girl. And take back my son's money. Yeah. Good. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Thank you. Good God, mummy. Thank you. But I think, I think what would I, this is seriously, away from all the little jokes that we're having here and there, what we've got to think about as this month closes and we're we'll closing this month with this um, conversation is like, how could, men, you've got to help us help you. 100%. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, we're not, this is made for my mind readers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes we just don't know. Yeah. And if you haven't said something, yeah, we can't figure it out. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But do you know what it is? But also at the same time, you have to create an environment for us to say mm. I promise what you. What does that look like for you? you know what I mean? Oh, this is, the, I don't know, for me it's a bit different because I'll talk, innit? You're I'll out there. Yes. All right, so for the men like, who are not like Victor, what could put yourself in that man's shoe? Man up in it. <laughs> joking, <laughs> he's joking. He's joking. He's being himself. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, That's why he tells his friends. No, but honestly, it's like you you do have to you do have to speak up or seek advice from a friend. Say, yo, listen, um, like you know, I'm going through this. I don't know how to approach my message. Do you have any advice? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Or speak to Samaritan or something like that. Just speak yeah. to someone if you're trying to gain that confidence to say what needs to be said, because. Mm. What you're doing is that it's the same thing with work, and if you don't say something, you're creating an environment where people think it's okay, to, or people yeah. there's no issues, yeah. or to you actually bring it up. Well, she could leave you. Oh, God. <laughs> Just like, what, you? Wow. What yeah. I would say is yeah. there's always someone out there to listen yeah. to you. There's always someone, yeah? yeah? Be it mm. the next door neighbor, person across the, the work colleague, 
your barber, your hairdresser, there's always someone out there. Yeah, but they talk about their barbers, don't they? They do, but they'll at least listen and give yeah. you certain advice. Yeah? It's true. Yeah. But I would say for the women out there, we need to be, um, uh, do unto others what you want done unto yourself. Mm. That's what I live by. Mm. I don't treat people a certain way because I know that there's certain things I can't stand. Mm. So that's what I would say to women. Yeah. If you know, say, you wouldn't stand for it mm. or you wouldn't want someone to come back and treat your son, your mm. brother, your dad, your uncle, your cousin, your nephew, godson, whoever, don't do it to them. Yeah. Don't you treat people that One way. One thing I would say um, to women out there is that if you notice something in your partner um, and, you know, you notice a few changes and so forth, you know, um, you know, maybe the stress or whatever, ask, ask questions. And if you're not satisfied with the answer that you're getting, explain to them why you're not satisfied with the answer that you're and keep on asking and keep on asking yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. what did you say you just call you a naggy woman oh nagger no 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 no, no, no. <laughs> this, is, this is our pain this is it's like that's that's what i said to them that's what i said to you um explain to them why you don't understand question. yeah the, the answer that they've given you so if i call this i don't comp- i don't understand what you're trying to say but can you please because it's, 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 you have to remember it's, it's the delivery it's, yeah, it's that's the true. delivery that's, that's what matters the most it's yeah. the delivery and examples so if you're saying nagging so if I see something and I say well actually I don't believe that you're okay because for example you left the house this morning you didn't say goodbye yeah. or I noticed that you are not eating breakfast anymore or I've noticed yeah. you're not going to the gym anymore yeah. um, ex- examples so you, you back it up you. with evidence back it up with evidence but if you know you're not satisfied with that mm. yeah. again the delivery and back it up yeah, with evidence it's just the delivery. Mm. that's it okay. honestly that delivery says it delivery i agree with but sometimes it's just like what if they say to you i'm fasting there can't be an example for everything yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah? so unless you're just blatantly but lying you know what, but no but this is the thing but i mean i hear what you're saying Taylor, because i mean listen past relations i've been quote unquote nagged and, yeah. and obviously most men will say they hate being nagged. And I hate that and word. I, 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 I hear that, it's a tricky one. But, um, <laughs> but for me, and I've been there, yeah, just like most men, I, I, I hate it as well. But I'm, I guess I may be unfortunate in the sense that I can articulate myself in a manner yeah. that she can understand. Yeah. Do you and, know what I mean? And I just think, like, sometimes it's like, um, it's the person's background. Whether they're coming from a family that's yeah. like, there's something people are used to speaking. Mm. So we might come from homes where conversation we're not fostering or we're not welcome. Telling you. Yeah. Telling you. So it, 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 I don't know if it's the right way. Mm. Yeah. But I think there's a way of, um, like you said, delivery. And I guess keep asking. Or I think patience. Show that you get. Yeah. Patience yeah. you get. Yeah. Exercise patience. Exactly that. And then, like I said, create room or yeah. opportunity for those conversations to happen. Yeah. If you know one of your, if you know your partner's friends, Maybe reach out to well, I don't know if it's like a good Don't reach out to partner's friends. Don't. No. So, I wouldn't say that. Yeah. So I couldn't, no, I couldn't no, call no. your brother and say. No, 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 no. No, no. don't get other people no, involved. No, 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 no. Don't, yeah, don't. So can, I call, can I call the pastor? Don't call the pastor. You're not in a Christian relationship. My brother, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> this is girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
Let me let me say that again. A lot of people do not know how to listen. I heard you the first time. <laughs> no, you didn't. I was listening. No, no. You're right. Active listening. They say that yeah. people listen yeah. to respond. Right. Yeah. Like they just want to, they want to. Yeah. Actually, sometimes it's okay. Sitting in silence is yeah. okay. Yeah. It's true, it's true, it's true. We're all doing that now. I was just like, I know, I wasn't going to talk now. <laughs> <Okay>. Victor, bloody <laughs> hell. <laughs> Guys, you know what, yeah? It's been a great episode. Once again, we're going to wrap it up for you guys. We just wanted to touch base on the Mental Health Month for the Men. Mm. We couldn't let it go by without us, without us actually speaking on it. Mm. So thank you so much for coming in no, and sharing you your experiences, being really open with where you're at mm. and where you've been at. Guys, key things for me today, try and find good friends and no one has a good family or friends. And try and find key people around you that you can talk to. Because Victor has said that's been working for him. And um, yeah, try it. Don't have friends. Friends.com. There's always someone you can talk to. Yeah. <laughs> Find someone, yeah. anyone. Yeah. So absolutely. And you know, well, worst case, be fair with you know, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. But take, take them. Mm. Just don't feel like you're alone. Because <laughs> yeah. you're not. Do you and know what I mean? In all yeah. honesty, you know, just contact the podcast if you want us to be signposting you to anyone mm. else that you might feel like you need other help and professional help. We can do that on the podcast, yeah? Yeah. 